New service reported in November the story of an Air Force major who says he was wrongfully thrown out of service. Today, attorneys for Carl Molnow filed a $2 million lawsuit against 13 high-ranking Air Force officers. It charges them with conspiracy to violate his civil rights. Lou Dobbs has the story. Okay. You want Former Air Force Major Carl Molnow spends his time keeping house and taking care of his two children while his wife works. Molnow isn't a house husband by choice. He'd rather be flying, but he hasn't been able to get a job since the Air Force grounded him for insubordination nearly three years ago. Molnow had a superior record during his 20-year career in the Air Force. Rated an outstanding C-141 transport pilot, Molnow and his career ran into trouble at McCord Air Force Base in February of 1975. After filing dozens of hazard reports about improper air safety procedures, which Molnow says were ignored, he filed a report that criticized the entire military airlift command. He was grounded because he refused to retract that report. His commanding officer ordered him to take a psychiatric exam. The examining officer pronounced him a highly intelligent, safe, reliable pilot. His commanding officer rejected that evaluation and ordered him to Lackland Air Force Base for another exam. A letter from the McCord medical officer to the psychiatrist at Lackland was sent ahead of him and is an important piece of evidence in Molnow's lawsuit. This is a very difficult case in which command is intensely interested. A major problem is the apparent difficulty in administratively removing an officer in a reserve organization from flying duty or even ground duty due to political pressures. A medical diagnosis, if warranted, will assist the reserve associate wing commander in accomplishing this. The diagnosis, Major Carl J. Molnow has paranoid schizophrenia superimposed on obsessive compulsive behavior. Molnow says that letter was an outright violation of his civil rights. The Air Force says it was normal procedure. Molnow has tried to get help from the Washington State Congressional Delegation for nearly two years without success. Now, he has turned to the federal court system. Because it's just not right for what they do, or what they did do to me. You know, they can't say you're crazy. I uh, give you the uh, chance to uh, say, if you don't keep your mouth shut, we're going to say you're crazy. Uh, that's just not right. This is Lou Dobbs reporting for King News Service. 31-year-old Dennis Hacker was...